Hey guys, it's Chris here, and I'm going to talk about the Wicked and Divine Volume 2. So, I never filmed here, I don't think. It's, I'm literally just in bed. Uh, that's where I've been reading. I literally, my setup is like, I have these two volumes of the comic, and I have this cookie butter ice cream, and I'm in bed, and it's my day off, and I could not be bothered setting up the entire camera system. <laughs> but I just finished Volume 2. Like, a little bit ago. I didn't, like, just finish it. I finished, like, probably, like, an hour ago. Uh, I've been meditating on it, and this comic, this graphic novel, is really, really interesting. Um, it definitely had a very, I, I talked in the last volume about how, like, it ended at a point that made you want to keep reading, and I gotta say, it definitely did that with this volume. I did not expect whatever that turd was at the end of this volume at all. So, it's pretty intense. If you haven't read the first volume of the comic. Definitely go check that out. I'm going to try to talk about this volume without spoiling anything. Essentially, the concept of the story, like I talked about in the first volume review, is every 90 years, 12 gods return as young people. Um, you know, and they're, they're reincarnated, but it's only for two years. They return as these young people, there's reincarnation, and then they die two years later. And I feel like a lot of the thing with this comic is an investigation into what happened at the end of the first volume, um, and also some things that happened throughout that volume that were just the things that Laura, the main character, um, were encountering and trying to figure out in that first volume. And in this one, you could see her and Cassandra investigating more, following leads, and trying to figure out what they can find out about what the how to find. They're going to try to find out the truth. And throughout this volume, Laura also meets a lot of the other gods. We get to see. Inanna, I, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, um, and s some other guys who get to see uh, Laura go into the underground again with more again and Bath and Bath, and it was really, I really, really, really like this setup. I really like seeing the guys and seeing their different talents, um, learning more about their abilities. It's been really, really interesting, um, and this volume is something I've really enjoyed. This comic, I think this graphic, this second volume was even more vibrant than the first volume. Like, there's this, I, I mentioned loving the artwork, and I think there was these panels where I just stopped and just looked like this is beautiful and brilliant, and I love it. Um, especially a scene that I'm not even going to, I can't really say anything about, but it was kind of uh, a surprise for me. I'll just say they, we, they don't know who the 12th god is. The 12th god has not been reincarnated yet. Um, at, at the point of the first volume, and in this volume, um, we get a fair note who the 12th god is, and so that awakening scene, um, was a moment for me. <laughs> and really, I feel like it was such a surprise moment, because it wasn't who I expected. It wasn't at all who I was expecting, and I absolutely loved that. Um, but that entire, the artwork for that section I'm looking at right now, is brilliant. Like, I need, I'm sure people have cosplayed these characters and probably look amazing. Um, because, like, these looks are just fantastic. Um, so, yeah. I still really enjoy it. This is very, I would say it's an adult graphic novel. It has more adult themes. Um, Laura is attracted to everybody, and I love that. A lot of these characters are pretty, like, queer, pretty open, fluid sexuality. Um, and I really love that as well. Um, Laura talks, has attractions to all different types of people, our main character, and I really like that. I really like this early panel we get of Laura, where it's just Laura in her room, and it still has these, like, highlights, there's, like, um, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, G, and then there's, like, a key that tells you different things about her room and her life at that point, and I really, really love that as well. That was just really cool. Um, I just really like a lot about this, let's be honest. Um, also, that's something that reminds me of a panel in a Young Avengers comic, which Karen Gillian also wrote for, so that makes sense, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I really like that a lot. It's what, that's probably one of my favorite things I've seen, um, in a Karen Gillian comic. I'm not going to go into, like, a big deeper discussion on this one, so I'm not going to do a spoiler section or anything like that. I'm just going to have, like, a little song of the day for you guys to play right after this. But tell me if you've read up to Volume 2 and how you think of the series. Uh, I have Volume 3 sitting right here, obviously. <laughs> it's commercials. Volume 3, commercials suicide. 
uh, and I'm probably going to start reading it right now. I don't know if I'm going to finish it today. Um, there's some other reading I want to do, and there's all sorts of other things I want to do with my day off, like cleaning um, my kitchen and things, and the things i got to do. Wash my work clothes, probably, because i got to go work back to work tomorrow. Um, you know, like stuff like that. Um, but I'm definitely going to jump into this and might try to get through halfway through the volume, and I really am excited to see where things go from here. Um, it's getting emotional. Let's just say it like that. It's getting emotional. It's getting real. I feel some attachments to some of these characters, and we, these characters might not be around for very long, obviously. And it's getting emotional. So I'm going to jump into the next volume. I'm going to put volumes four and five on hold for my library. Hopefully I get them, like, next week by Tuesday, hopefully, we'll say. Um, but yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. I hope you all enjoyed this little review, or this little talk about the my experience with the volume, I guess. I don't know what this is. It's, it's by life. Uh, but I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I want